Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your defenders in a futsal corner kick. So what we have to remember is, we have to be standing just off our line here and we're facing outwards toward the court, okay? We don't wanna be doing this stuff, going down on our knees. I've seen that a lot in club futsal. Okay, you don't wanna be doing this because they could just chip it over your head have a guy standing at the back and shoot and score. So we don't want to be doing that. Um, we also don't want to be just stuck on our post right here. Because they can simply just pass it out on an angle and shoot on a far, far post there. So we want to take a little step back. Okay. And we want to do is get in our keeper ready position. Okay. Just angle yourself just out a little bit. Boom. So what we want to do is keep our eyes on the ball, okay? We're in our keeper ready position, knees bent, weight forward on our toes. Okay, so this is how we're going to set up our defenders, guys. So these yellow markers here is going to represent our defenders. So what we want, we want one defender to slightly one step off the post, okay? And then we want another step, and then another step. Okay, so you have your three defenders, line across here so this defender here this defender is responsible for the near post shot okay so his job is to maybe just if he comes near post his job is just to put his foot out and kick it out kick it away so this defender's job here is simply to cut out the ball if it's played through the middle now this this yellow defender here this last one is very important so if the corner taker kicks the ball out out to his right here for on an angle his job is to cut that ball out straight away so he doesn't shoot now one more defender here is out the back here so his job is to either clear the ball if it gets chipped over the top cut out that angle of this player and also if it gets passed along out to here he steps out and contests for the ball hello guys so I wanted to come on here and give a better visualization on how you guys should set up your uh, defenders here. The contrast of the colors in the video, uh, it's pretty hard to kind of see where you should set up your defenders. So I thought uh, this would be a great way to um, better visualize and uh, yeah, so let's get started. So we have our corner taker here guys, and then we have our first post defender here. So his job here is to cut out the, the first shot really of the near post. So in my experience, um, the corner taker here, he'll just shoot near post and the goalkeeper would be maybe like back here or something and just solely relying on this defender. It's important here that he stays alert and watches for that front post shot. So he could just pass just straight into that gap right there. And uh, it could hit the post, go in, it could come off it, come off his foot and go in the goal. Second position here, our second defender. So what his job is, his job is again to basically cut out that middle pass that comes straight through here. Now, this top defender here is um, a little bit different to the other two here. So his job is if uh, let's get a mannequin real quick. So, okay, so here's the, you know, the other players. One, two, three, four. So his job here is basically if... Uh, his, so the corner taker's job here, if he kicks it out to this player here, this defender comes out and uh, intercepts that ball and make sure that it doesn't get a shot off. Um, so now we're gonna go on to the last defender, which is, he should be standing around where the, a bit behind where the goalkeeper is here. So just like that. So his, okay, so his job, this fourth and last defender here, if the ball gets chipped over the top here, okay, his job is to either cut out the pass from he from that attacker or that attacker. So his job is to basically collect the ball 
And also this top defender here, instead of going to this player here, that top player can shift to this second player here. So the so this last defender doesn't have two players to worry about. So he can focus on the one out the back here. And also I wanted to cover um, get rid of these. So our goalkeeper's positioning. Um, I wanted to go through this one with you guys. So where's my goalkeeper? Here we go. So as I said in the video, um, if you're positioned right at your post, so like when you're, let's say you're kneeling down like you, like I just showed you in the video. Um, well, this corn, the if 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 the corner taker is smart. What he's gonna do is um, he's gonna chip obviously chip the ball over you, and he's gonna have a player right out the back here, just like so, and he's going to the corner taker is gonna chip over, and pass to this here, and he's gonna get such a big area of the goal to shoot from, and our job as a goalkeeper yeah is to make ourselves as big as possible. So what we want to do now. Instead of positioning ourselves right at the front post, we want to position ourselves in the middle of the goal here. So when we notice this, we can shift shift our body towards at that play here. So we basically just shift ourselves on an angle like so, keep ourselves like that and prepare for the shot. That's a basic positioning to uh, set up your defense as a futsal goalkeeper. I do hope that uh, this visualization helped a lot in you guys setting up a corner. I find this is pretty effective against most teams. If you're versing, let's say, a representative team, they're gonna definitely have some tactics here to break down this formation here. But you know, it, it's an all round, a great position, starting off position. For you, for you to place your defenders in. So there you guys have it. This is a basic formation that you can set up as a goalkeeper to help defend against corner kicks. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.